Hello, hello, my friends. I so hope you guys are having a great Saturday, September the 5th. can hardly believe the way this, uh, you know, this year has kind of sped by, despite the, you know, oddness. Um, it certainly is just clicking right along, <laughs> isn't it? Happy Labor Day, everybody. No matter how you labor, if you labor at home, if you labor in a place of work, if you uh, labor as a mom, a nurse, a doctor, a wife, uh, you take care of your parents. You know, we are girl people and we all labor, my friends, whether you labor at home or you labor somewhere else. So today, uh, Monday actually is Labor Day. So we pay tribute to all of the American workers and it's been kind of an odd year for American work and American workers, but you know, I think I think that most of us are kind of just muddling through it and and uh, making the best of things. We have a really super cool bead spine on this kimono journal. It, I love the fabric. The fabric is a bit fussy to work with, but I really <laughs> love the colors of the kimonos. I really dig the oriental uh, vibe of the piece. I, I love these oriental flowers that we have going on here, and then you can see the back of the journal here as well. So let's take a look at this new flow journal coming out of the shop. Speaking of work, I have gotten behind with uh, working on flow journals this week. We just seem to have had a busy week with other things and, um, you know, um, like administrative things and things like that that really had to be dealt with. So we start out with a chippy that says the little things. When you see a three by six piece like this, you guys, this is an absolute perfect um, mini book. So you can fold this in half, stuff it with paper, use this for a cover, and wham bam, you have a really nice mini book. And the mini books are super cool for happy mail. Uh, you know, maybe you've got maybe something special coming up. You know, I mean, Halloween is coming up, right? So you could make mini books for Halloween or, you know, mini books for a church group. My mom's church, of course, is not in session, so she is, uh, you guys, this is a, uh, a mini cluster right here, so we have a lot of things for you to work with. We have a guy sitting at a desk. You know, I think we've all been doing a whole lot of that lately. We have a few bits of planner ephemera right here. We have a beautiful napkin for decoupage and a sweet blue dyed piece that Miss uh, C made that goes great with these blue lines on this educational piece over here about teaching children uh, the proper form for for forming their their letters. Uh, talking about mom and church, um, what my mom's church has done, and this I think this is a really great idea since they are not, of course, going to church, then they are uh, have come up with a list of all the birthdays, anniversaries, uh, special days for the folks in their parish, and they compile the list. So mom is sending more greeting cards to more people than she ever has before. This, uh, you know, I, I, I really like the way the mini clusters come along, you guys. Uh, you know, if we're looking for, you know, maybe an influential, inspirational place, we can create a little bit of outdoorsy rooms. I love an outdoor room. We are working in the yard today. That's kind of how we usually celebrate Labor Day. We usually kind of work in the yard or work around the house or do some sort of maintenance or housekeeping or house cleaning or whatever. Uh, but that kind of just suits kind of the way that we uh, manage our day today. We have a chippy for you that says go. This is a story cluster. So let's kind of take this out and I'll show you how the story comes together. Anytime you see an imprint of story, then that is a cluster to help you create a narrative. Now this one has a title called Save Your Life. 
it has World War II pilot right here. Maybe this is his girlfriend. Uh, maybe after he finished with his uh, bout and with his service in the war, maybe he became a fisherman. And then maybe he became a farmer after he was a fisherman. Or maybe he was a fisherman and a farmer. So a lot of just, you know, you've got images, you've got a prompt piece, and you've got your um, your story label right here. So just a quick story starter because as we go into the fall then the days get shorter and our t TV time gets longer. Maybe <laughs> you know you're going to use your flow journal to uh, create more creative uh, inspiring Tom for yourself instead of sitting and watching TV of course we I mean there are things that we're looking forward to y'all this was made by Miss C I love it it says the library it says read a good book I thought that it went really well with this little package here you know whether you're going on a trip to read a good book this is um, okay so this is our desk sitter kit and I'll put a link to in the description box to the uh, the video that detailed how these kits are created for the next six journals which we're doing three now so we've got three to go we were talking about mom and sending greeting cards. I hopped on Amazon. She was like, I wish that I just had one little gift, you know, just one little thing for people um, to put in my greeting cards. And I said, well, uh, what sort of thing would you like? She said, well, I went to the dollar store and tried to find um tried to find bookmarks she said i thought a bookmark would be nice and i was like you know mama that would that would be really nice we've got a small cluster here for you of course this is a this is a cluster here as well you know these are mini clusters these aren't the kits that are in the pocket so these are in addition to the other things that you have to work with i gotta put in some halloween it's september it's tom I went on the Amazon and uh, <laughs> found Mom the coolest bookmarks. And I was very happy about them. They are, I love this cluster, y'all. It's, it's kind of game-oriented. Uh, you've got Colonel Mustard, Professor Plum, Mr. Green, Miss Peacock, Miss Scarlet, Miss White. This is from the game Clue, and this is an old ephemera piece. I think it was, I think it's super cool. You know, maybe it'll make you think about things that, games that you enjoy playing. Again, you know, we're going into the fall season. Wonderful time to reflect, renew, um, kind of reestablish your... You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with staying in. There's nothing wrong with hanging out in your house. There's nothing wrong with going inside because it's the time of year. It's the time of year when we do get reflexive. We're around the holidays. Um, maybe this will spur you on to think about customs and the celebrations that you and your family had when you were a child. I like these little pieces that, you know, they evoke a memory. They evoke a, um, a time in your life. I, I think that that's the fun thing about working with flow journals is every piece can, can, can inspire you to write or think or draw or, you know, come up with a new idea. I love this little piece. It's all about writing. This is writing habits, stamp it. Uh, it has all kinds, and of course, this is a full piece, so when you pull it out, you'll have all kinds of um, really inspiring uh, writing information. We do love our writing, don't we? We have some super cool pieces uh, from old magazines. I really did like that. I think that the reason that I put the apple here was there was an apple recipe on these pages somewhere. This is another, this is a small cluster. This encourages you to think about signature events. I have a friend who's getting married today and it is, uh, <laughs> 
it's just a simple wedding. And I think, you know, we used to think of big, like congregations of people and big gatherings and things like that. Now we're kind of paring down. We're thinking about signature events. We're thinking about smaller events with all the meaning of a big event and probably even more meaningful than big events. It's, it's all about the little things. Maybe that is how we go into this holiday season in a more uh, productive and happier frame of mind is just learning to appreciate, you know, the little things. Um, I forgot what we were talking about. We are talking about Mama, talking about the bookmarks. Uh, I love this little cluster here, you guys. This says every detail of their journey. I received a philatelic magazine from my friend Kathy, and it has the Marvin Gaye image in it. I thought the Marvin Gaye image went great with, <laughs> you know, with this, this little compact, portable stereo we have right here. I just thought that those pieces went really well. And this is our wonderful Edith Holton. We've got another cluster right here for you. This is our ABC cluster. And it also has read and book in it. I thought that that was a really fun cluster to, to play with because it gave me the ability to use up some of these. You know, my, my thing is using the abandon, the unclaimed, the... Uh, you know, the um, surplus or whatever. I love to get things like that in the mail. I love to be able to utilize things that people were going to toss or didn't know what to do with. I love this cluster, y'all. This is our um, so-and-so cluster. It's got all kinds of sweet ephemera in this little bag as well as these pieces because it was just fun to put together. I love these little fellas, don't you? They're so cute. I think I'm gonna do that like that because I don't want their little faces to get bent. And then we'll do this like this. It might not fit in the book so well, but you know, the books are, they are um, they're kind of fat and chunky anyway. So there we go. We'll just stick it right back in there. Lots of inspiration pieces. I love using magazine pages in my books because I think that the images are stellar. The information is always wonderful. I mean, just the patterns, the textures. This is a great page to collage on or collage with. This is a, came from a book about how to create a backyard pond. I would love to do something like that, but I think that it probably has a lot of maintenance. This is a vintage cookbook along with some uh, modern images from a modern cookbook. I was lucky to get a couple Rachel Ray magazines that I really enjoy. I <laughs> always love to watch Rachel Ray. It used to be my thing to do, like... I think she came on at 5 o'clock, and I would watch Rachel Ray, uh, her 30-minute meals, and that was always kind of fun to, uh, to watch. Of course, these books are curated, and we spill into uh, orange and, um, you know, these fall colors that we have going on here. Another example of fall colorings, and then we have our picnics, you know, we have our pumpkins. We It's time for the pumpkins. At the farm, people are already asking, and we do open the end of September. Uh, we did a, a Zoom conference with Virginia Tourism, and this is another story cluster right here. With Virginia Tourism to, I like the way this one came together. It says everyday words. Another mini cluster that has a piece of paper for you to write upon or write a letter. A matching color swatch right here. It says thinking of you and then it has some planner things right here. So that was that was really a fun cluster to put together. And of course, you've got two pieces here. So when you count your mini clusters, that one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
items for you to work with without having to go into your stash, without having to put all kinds of stuff on your desk, without having to set up or clean up, just create. No setup, no cleanup, just create. So a lot of fun there. Okay, friends, let's take a look at... <laughs> I like wine, okay? it's uh, It's become like really nice to have a glass of wine at the end of the day or a cocktail at the end of the day and this is something i've never done before and i really do enjoy it one is fine i keep defending myself and i'm like what am i doing you know that's i mean happy hour cocktail hour it's a thing right <laughs> So it's been very nice, you know, just to have to, you know, that uh, take the edge off kind of thing at the end of the day. As Leanne says, we have some really sweet fabric here, you guys. It has wonderful grapes, these highlighted um, grape leaves here. It was just, it's just a fun, fun fabric and really kind of reminded me of... Uh, of my glass of wine at the end of the night i see something here and you guys might notice this sometimes these pockets y'all get so chunky that the the washi tape that i use will sometimes pull away so it's a good idea when you get your book to kind of go through and press down your washi starting like i said to use kind of witchy things um Halloween things. This says Grimora, the Green Witch, and you've got your three by three mini book. You've got your flip book here to create with, create upon. There is a mini cluster here that has a collage piece. It has a blue dyed piece. There's a pink uh, art trading card right here that goes great with these planner ephemera pieces that we have here that grow great with this pollinator petals that we have right here i cannot remember who sent me the pollinator petals but i planted them yesterday because they were fall pollinator petals and i was very happy to see them this is from a book called bringing life to dark places 1962 it is a book about uh architecture uh, it's a book about redoing the housing type projects in New York. So it is a very excellent read. It's also got stellar 1962 photography in it, which I totally love. I think in 1962, I was four years old. Hard to believe. Love clock imagery. I like the way all this goes together. I love this pattern that we have going here. I love the clock the green of the trees, and of course, the green of this golf course here. I'm starting to utilize the shell book that I got at the library. I'm very happy with my 50 cent books from the library. Mom asked me the other day if we were going to have a big library sale, and I was like, nope, you know, no library sale this year. She said, I know you're so sad. And I was like, I am. I always looked forward to that every single year. You know, I really did love to go to the library sale, but no library sale. They do have a small selection of books on a shelf and for 50 cents, which I'm totally happy and grateful that that my library does that you guys uh miss karen sent us these incredible swatches y'all uh, they are just they're like two by two really absolutely one of the coolest things i've ever seen they're so super neat and i know you're going to have a lot of fun working with them so we have also a a piece here that has been tea dyed this is all about back to school so we have a lot of backpack images, you know, binder clips, papers, organizational tools. And I thought this little, uh, this spectacles ephemera really did go well with that. We've got map imagery for you. We've got encyclopedia information for you. This is our cluster. This is our desk sitter cluster. And of course, I mean, looky, we really did have to include some beautiful Cindy Lauper in with these images. I love Cindy Lauper. I uh, was a singer in an 80s cover band and we did a lot of uh, Cindy Lauper, Pat Benatar, 
heart, you know, that kind of stuff. This is your story cluster. This is called Culinary Haven. And we have, of course, True Prompt, Culinary Haven, lots of pieces of, uh, lots of clippings of food, places to stay. You know, here's one at the, of the beach. Here's one of some collard greens and cornbread. That's right up my alley. Uh, another small mini cluster here. We have lots of vintage text for you, vintage hymnals, vintage scripture, uh, vintage book pages, almost just anything that you could think of that you might like to uh, create with can be found in these books. Typically all you need to complete a flow journal, and you never ever complete a flow journal, that was the wrong choice of words, because they simply go on and on and on. The things that you create with a flow journal, you can stick right back into the pockets here and you can take those pieces, you can redo those pieces, you can use them for happy mail, you can use them in your written journal, you can use them in an art journal, they just, it just goes on and on and on. These are books that you will enjoy for a long, long, long time. Again, the Bringing Life to Dark Places book from 1962, I think it's uh, the, the Jessica Jones character from the Marvel comics. When she gets stressed out, she remembers the address of every place she's lived. And it kind of is her centering mantra. So maybe this will make you think about the address of every place you've ever lived. Just kind of a fun centering activity. I love these old dictionary pieces. This is an illustration of a shamrock. We have maps. This is our ABC123 cluster. Be happy. Miss Mona sent this and it's like, ah, I'm so happy to finally get to use that. Because when Miss Mona sends things, and I'm like this, y'all. So that's why I went through all my happy mail the other day and I started, you know, we're going to use our happy mail. A lot of times I just put it back and I just then I get it out and I look at it and I bless everybody that sent it to me and then I put it back and I'm like what the heck am I doing get that stuff out and have fun with it we got map imagery here along with some clock imagery the word conclusion and I thought that that really did match well with Dorothy you know she's trying to get back to Kansas after being blown somewhere over the rainbow she certainly cannot be shipped first class she has to go in a special way she has to click her ruby slippers three times and get on her way so we've got another story starter here i love the way that this page came together y'all it says unwind in style says so you've got the stressed out guy and he is trying to work less nine to five now this is what business class looked like in 1960 i think this was from a 1960s ish uh, magazine so i i really did love that uh, you know I like these two things together and then you've got a travel quiz right here of course I love my food photography you can take that food photography kind of like out of its element and make it into something else legend of the dream catcher this is the other part of Delta's luxurious jets Look at the way people are dressed here. Goodness me. Not like that. I was supposed to uh, get on a plane in April, and that didn't work. And then I was supposed to get on a plane in July, and that didn't work. <laughs> it's like, oh well. <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe someday. And that's this book about uh, making a pond in your backyard just really makes me want a pond in my backyard. We've got a small cluster here for you. Hello world, you know, as we enter back into the process of educating our children, it looks different in different areas. I don't know how it looks in your area, my friends, but we have virtual school for the first nine weeks. 
This is such a cushy looking bed. Look, it's got pink and frilly. It's just beautiful. I love the tassels on the curtains. My cousin had a canopy bed, and I just thought it was the most elegant thing in the whole wide world. I have bunk beds. Uh, this is when we were young. Our beautiful Queen Elizabeth. And on the back it says Royal. The Iroquois Arithmetic Book. We've got foreign languages. I always think foreign languages are just fun. Democratic women will please enroll here. So we've got a look at when women receive the vote and then we've got these hip women in a band along with their portable record player right here and then this cluster is so and so with all of your sewing ephemera and images in here vintage sewing ephemera all right we've got one more my friends this is a damask delight uh we don't often see these colors and I, I thought that they were very fall feeling so let's take a look and see what we have here we start out with beautiful dreams uh, Diane sent us <coughs> some art trading excuse me <coughs> sorry uh, art trading coin circles that she had made that I just I love thank you Diane for doing that uh, we've got the scarecrow here and it says friends This was a Restoration Hardware catalog. I am crazy in love with Restoration Hardware. Collect moments, not things. We have a lady on a horse and another cowgirl on a horse right here. I used to love Dale Evans. You know, you had Rory Rogers and Dale Evans, and they would come on on Saturday morning, and I loved that show, along with... Um, you know, we had Fred Kirby in North Carolina, so Fred Kirby had a children's hour. And I remember being a really little girl with my little toy guitar, learning how to play from Fred Kirby by watching watching his hands on the guitar, learning guitar chords that way. We have a story cluster here for you called Savor. <clears throat> A memory to hold. I liked this chippy in conjunction with these bake shop goodies. When I was a little girl, we used to go to Park Road Shopping Center. Now, this was a big freaking deal to get to go to Park Road Shopping Center. Um, they had a bakery there, and I remember that being such um, a very, like, I mean, I mean, my mom just goes to opening the door and that is smelling that buttercream frosting you know on a cupcake and we could you know we could choose a cupcake um and sometimes you know we could um i mean you didn't, you didn't get a cupcake and a toy on the same day <laughs> you know you got a cupcake like one month and then you might go and get a little toy the next month um but it was always such a delight to go into that bakery and maybe that will encourage you to think about memories that you might have as a child or you know maybe you went into a bakery or maybe you went into a coffee house i still have like um i played at a coffee house in charlotte at dilworth coffee house and it was just really fun to walk into that place and just get that Whew, you know, that heady sense of, of fresh ground coffee. Uh, we have a little squirrel image. for. Oh, this is a Dormouse image. I dig old dictionary pages with these wonderful images. This is a Dormer window, and this is a Dotterel bird, a Dotterel uh, duck right there. And these black and white line drawings. So pretty. Got a, a mini cluster here for you. seashells seashells and water mm, this is how I really feel this is a this was made by Leanne um, Leanne does all kinds of stickers um, 
she she makes she's making uh, vinyl stickers. She's just it's Creative Freedom Paper, at, and she did this one as well. Creative Freedom Paper over at Etsy. So I think she's trying to do a website. I admire her. We've got a mini cluster right here for you, kind of picking up on the colors of the season, the textures of the season. You know, we think about burlap, we think about canvas, we think about, um, you know, um, uh, those warm, rust-rich colors. This is your desk sitter right there. B for balloon. Uh-oh. Her hair's tangled. Color hole, please. Gotta get our hair straight. There we go. There we go. I've got these beautiful new papers, y'all. Um, the Green Witch collection that I picked up mm, Thursday. Got planner goodies right here for you. Collage elements right here. This is a how to draw a book. Pencil drawings, beautiful. Zion National Park. Again, this is a full page, so you can pull it out and play with it and then tuck it back into your book. This is an article about Martin Scorsese's films. Nearly all of Martin Scorsese's films use food to help tell the story. Whether the central narrative is about gangsters, Jimmy Hoffa's love of ice cream and the Irishman, boxers, Jake LaMotta's rage over overcooked steak and raging bull, or taxi drivers, Travis Bickle's obsession with junk food. So it, it's really, this is a great article, full article right here. So you can kind of check that out. Flow journals should be informative. They should be something fun to read. They should be something fun to create with. They should teach you something. Like I said, this is a, a flow journal never, ever, ever, ever ends. It is a constant plaything. Uh, you can't outgrow it. You can't um, always use it all up. There's just no way because you are creating pieces as you go through here, which create more pieces for you to play with. You get it? I really like the way this came together. So we see this wonderful couple and maybe they called each other up and then they went to have a wonderful dinner and then they had a sing-along. So you can see the, the, the stories that you can tell with these books. I used to make uh, apple pies for my grandma. Um, she loved apple pies and I would I would make her little apple pies and take them to her when she was in her physical shoes. She hasn't been in physical shoes for quite some time. Good times. Worth smiling. You know, you still have your chippies in here, but you have your your story clusters as well as your creative clusters. So something to help you write something to help you create. This is a story cluster here. This is kind of a two-page story cluster because you've got things here and you've got things here. So this is travel. Um, I love this part that says much depends on dinner because really it does. You know, what were your favorite dinners when you were growing up? What were your favorite food memories when you were growing up? Did you grow up in a place like this or did you grow up in the country? Um, when you grew up, did you dream of going other places, doing other things, visiting other countries? I never thought much about it. When I was, I grew up in a very small town and I just never, just never thought much about going places and then you know lo and behold I did this is a mini cluster about the beach oh I'm sorry this is a story about the beach uh, Florida the Jacksonville area very beautiful down there what are the things that you love to do at the beach you know are you a beach kind of person or are you a um, mountains kind of person 
and then we've got our so and so creative cluster right here so guys i will get these in the shop hopefully a little later on today i know that we are doing yard work today so i'm not quite sure when i will get them in the shop but hopefully it will be sometime today thanks for hanging out with me y'all have a wonderful labor day don't labor too hard make sure that your labor is is sprinkled with a bit of rest and relaxation as well take care of yourselves i'll talk to you soon